Hey everybody! Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the wall stitch, which looks like this. And this is the double eyes. So I'm not actually going to show you guys how to actually start stitch, so you might want to check out another video. So, so you might want to check out another video that's perfect. It took me years, like months, not years, months, to make this. So you're going to make one loop like this, and another like this. Get this one, or whatever strand you want to use. Get it. go over the first one and under the second one which makes it look like this so basically all you want to do is make a square stitch with both of those strands and start doing it I just try to do speed mode all the time so it's just like a square stitch now get this one and go over the first one and under the second one which looks like this and then get your other one and go over and under and then pull so it's like a brick stitch so then pull, get it and it looks like this so it's like looking like a brick stitch when you get it and basically that is all for that for those strings. So now you're gonna do another brick stitch just with the same loops. Yeah. Mine's looking like this. Now you're gonna do, double it into a super brick stitch. Get this one here and go over the first one. And under the second one, making it like this. Let me see better. Okay. So you see that one's right over there. Right over here. Where tie dye. And my colors are lime green, purple, holographic tie dye, and kind of like this bluish green sorry you can't you guys can't see it it's bloom green and this is my roll of it so, so now you're gonna get your other one and go over the first one and under the second one. So you're having a super brick. And it looks like this. So it looks like that basically. But it, this is why it's called a wall. Because you're adding one more string into it. Okay. So now. Get your other strand. The blue green one. Which I just showed you. And go over the first one and under the second one. Which looks like this. So you see that one like that. And for the final part, which is really easy if you did all the stitches right, you're going to go over the first one and under the second one. And pull. I hope this video helps big and because it took me a long time to learn this so don't get mad if you don't get it the first time because it took me a couple of tries to do this so i hope you like my video bye